is up YouTube it is Reagan here and welcome back to my channel so if you are new here I'd like to say welcome Duchess welcome and I like to share videos on my tummy tuck journey also lifestyle health and wellness and budget friendly finds if you're interested in any of that definitely consider sticking around and subscribing I'll wait so we have a couple of packages that have came so I need to open those and show you what I got with that and then we also are going to be wrapping up kids Christmas gifts and just chit chatting so this is going to be a day in the house mm, girl I am so in love with these cinnamon roll bagels need to go get our nails done they have grown all the way up but I've been so busy I haven't had time to who can relate the time is passing by so fast just literally keeping up has been a task. All right, so the first thing is from Scentbird. So I did sign up for a subscription. I've really gotten into perfume scents and kind of my own identity of what I like as far as perfume goes. So with that being said, being able to try the perfume before you actually buy the full size um, fragrance is important to me. So Scentbird allows you to do that. So what we got today in our Scentbird order was Initio Oud for Greatness. Now this particular perfume has been raved about online, um, especially from perfumers and also Peyton Charles. I don't know if you guys watch her channel. If you don't, I mean, where you at girl? She is amazing. I love her content, but she, highly recommends this fragrance so i was like okay it seems like we like the same notes as far as perfume goes um i love woodsy scents i'm not really big on florals but you know things that kind of take you back maybe it could kind of be a male fragrance but not really it has a kick to it i'm usually in love with those um, a friend of mine in fifth grade would wear eternity for men and at that point i was like in love right so i love like colognes i love those deep rich scents so initio oud for greatness it says it breathes out a force of nature and it wake awakens the greatness in you the notes are argar wood oil lavender saffron patchouli and also musk now the ones that I really haven't tried, which is new for me as far as notes go, is saffron and patchouli. Now when I've smelled patchouli in the past, um, it's more of like an Indian scent. I have not liked it. If you are interested in Indian fragrance, I mean, it's one of those types of fragrances that you probably have to get used to. So this is gonna be interesting what this smells like. This was a perfect way to get it without the fuss and muss of spending $400 for a perfume that you've never smelled before. So, Initio Ooh for Greatness is what we got. And let's smell it. Okay. Two little packages here. And the first one, this is a cute way to carry it around in your purse. That way you can keep up with it. Okay, this just looks like a container. That's the first thing, so we'll keep this. I think this is the actual fragrance. So I forget how many ounces this is. So like it will come out. So this is 0.27 fluid ounces of the perfume, eight ml of the fragrance. So I'm gonna put it back in the container here. How do we do that? Okay, you have this little lock here in the front. So this is what it's looking like. So you can turn it to lock it so it won't spray and then turn it to the middle to turn it on. So we are going to spray. So from my understanding, you do not have to use a lot for it to do its thing. Oh my goodness. It smells really, really good. So um, 
I've been wearing number four by Thomas. If you guys know, you know. And I get so many compliments on that perfume. I have the perfume and the hair mist. But y'all, this smells good as well. So we're gonna let that sit. Definitely, I'm glad I got it, but it will go into the collection and we will wear it and see how we like it. So we have something girl expensive to go to whenever we get ready to go somewhere. So that's our Scentbird Oud for Greatness for this month. Get into it, girl, get into it. So moving right along. So I have no idea what this is. Watch it, something dumb. I have no idea. I've ordered so many things over the last couple of weeks. Watch, it's a tool or something. Oh, guys, look here. Guys, so this is my first Skims order because, you know, I don't want to spend $75 and $100 on loungewear and shit like that. Like, I'm just going to tell you. So she had a, Skims had a sale. And I was like, I'll own it. I ended up getting the lightweight bra and also the shorts. And I got to look to see what they're actually calling these. But I got both of these on sale. Yes, these are called sculpting shorts above the knee with open gusset, whatever that means. And then I got the bra and onyx. Um, so let's pull these out. Okay, okay, Kim, with the packaging. Like, I thought it was gonna be, you know, like the, the little sheen, <laughs> little bags, you know? Kim said, uh-uh. Okay, so here's the bra. Well, it looks tiny as crap. I mean, I hope it does stretch. What size did I get? Oh, girl, this is a small medium. It's a bralette. It's gonna be a something lit, cause, uh, girl, this looks tiny. So we'll have to see how much it stretches when I try it on. So we have the bra. It feels really soft. Um, I love the fact that it is a softer material. You know when you wear bras with like a lot of padding or they're really firm to touch. You know, you, it's, it's just like a wall <laughs> between the world and your boob. So this kinda is different. Let me see what this is made out of. Does it tell us? 21%. It's 72% nylon and 21% spandex. Machine wash and cold water do not bleach. Tumble low, do not iron, and do not dry clean. Okay, so this is piece number one. I don't know what we're feeling like, but it looks kind of tiny for the, the tatas. I'm just going to tell you. But I've heard so many people that ordered larges and didn't need them, so... This, I also ordered in a small medium. What was I thinking? I don't even know how this is gonna fit, y'all. I hope they fit good. Cause I thought they had a lot of stretch. So here are the shorts. And I got these to kind of wear to bed or, you know, just around the house. Let's see. Okay, that's the top. These are tiny, y'all. Here's the shorts. Why are they so little? What the world? Okay, so I wasn't expecting these. If they don't fit, I'm gonna have to send it back. Yo. I hope this goes well. I really do, because I was really excited and really waited for about, I feel like, what I feel like was three weeks to get them. So the bra fits, the bralette fits beautifully. I should have gotten a large in the bottom, but to sum it all up, I love the way that it feels. Even though the bottoms are a little bit, can be a little bit more giving, I still feel comfortable. Like I don't feel like it's squeezing me too tight or anything like that. I just feel like the rolling down is probably because I didn't get the right size. So as you can see, it keeps rolling. For my first Skims try, I'm gonna give it Let's see, I'm gonna give it a nine and a half solely because I ordered the wrong size. I should have dived a little deeper 
into sizing for the Skims Wear. But now that I know, I know, and I know how to order my next pieces. So I feel like it's definitely a plus. The feel is amazing. And look, I love how the bra comes up on the sides to kind of like hide, you know, your little side fat here. <laughs> Cause girl, I got it. I got side fat. So I love that her bras come up and over, you know, your um, torso here to cover all of that. It's really slimming. It's really soft. I'm loving it. Kim, keep doing what you're doing, girl. Keep bringing it. So without further ado, let's move on to the next activity.